Okay, uh, my name is Xin Longli. I'm principal engineer of cloud database from Tencent. Today, I will talk about the evolution of cloud native database architecture. I will start my sharing from the following three perspectives. The first background. I will introduce the architecture of the cloud native database. Some features will also be introduced. Second practice, I will show what the key technology to we use to solve the user pinpoints in cloud native database. The third evolution, I will show what we will do in the future. Okay, the first background introduction to the architecture. Uh, this slide shows the uh, uh, architecture and the feature of the Tencent Cloud Native Database. Tencent Cloud Native Database are part of the computing layer and the storage layer. The computing layer uh, writes the redo log to storage layer, and the storage layer applies the redo log to data, uh, data page. When cache meets, uh, the computer layer reads the data page from the storage layer. Uh, master node in computing layer supports the read-write workload, and the slave node only supports the read workload. Tencent Cloud Native Database can automatically expand to one uh, petabyte uh, mass storage, and its computing resource varies from at most uh, 96 core of CPU, uh, 768 gigabyte of memory, uh, to at least one quarter core of CPU, a uh, half gigabyte of memory. The read performance uh, reached more than 1 million QPS for each read-only node, and the write performance uh, reached half million QPS. Uh, all computer nodes can uh, fill over in uh, seconds and take snapshot and backup in seconds. The service means uh, pay less as you need, uh, which means if you uh, if the demands of data increase, just pay more. Uh, if the demand decrease, uh, pay less. Uh, the Tencent Cloud Native database support different ecology, including a MarineDB and the PostgreSQL. The slave node can expand uh, uh, expand up to 15 read-only nodes in seconds, and the replication delay from the master to slave uh, is at the millisecond level. Okay, the database architecture of traditional uh, database and cloud native database are different. The traditional database like uh, PostgreSQL and MarineDB is share nothing architecture, and the cloud native database uh, is a share storage architecture. The storage of traditional uh, database is uh, inflexible. Uh, the different uh, instance uh, in a database cluster has their own uh, data storage in traditional uh, uh, database. Each replica added to the cluster requires a independent storage space. For example, if a database cluster storage a store one uh, TB data, when replica join the cluster, it need one uh, TB space on its own machine. Uh, one cluster with one master and ten replica needs actually eleven TB storage space uh, just to store one TB data. And the uh, storage space uh, in one machine is limited. Therefore, the ability to store uh, to uh, the ability to store data in database cluster in traditional by traditional way is also uh, limited. Uh, in my view, uh, the storage of cloud native database is more flexible. Uh, no more uh, storage space is needed when replica join the cluster. Replica can read from the uh, shared uh, storage uh, and the space uh, story and the shared storage in cloud is much larger than the space in one machine. Uh, in cloud native uh, database, uh, only redo log is sent to storage, which shows a uh, slice is uh, TX store, uh, and the store storage apply the log to their data page. Replica receive the redo log from the primary uh, node. Uh, that is master node, and apply the read log uh, when the data page is in a replica's uh, buffer pool. 
uh, when the catch means uh, both the primary and the replica uh, read the data from the shared storage. Uh, now I will discuss what kind of storage can meet the separation of computing and the storage uh, architecture. That is the computable storage. The compute uh, the storage node execute the uh, storage logic of database. When uh, read log is sent to uh, the storage cell, uh, each cell persists the read uh, persists uh, uh, the read log. Uh, and notify the storage client in computer node that the log has been persisted. Uh, after the computer node think the log has been persisted and uh, uh, the relative uh, data page has been flushed. In background, the storage cell uh, uh, replay the redo log to data page. Uh, after that, uh, persist a new uh, version of the page uh, of the page uh, each page has different version in storage the main node uh, uh, read the latest version and the replica uh, may read the old version uh, the above is the logic structure of storage uh, the physical structure is introduced below the data uh, <coughs> uh, data in storage uh, uh, data in storage, uh, in different storage node, has uh, the data in, uh, data in storage in different storage uh, node has its own physical resources. In short, that is a separated uh, physical server. Uh, each uh, storage has uh, a storage cell. Each cell has its own redo log space and uh, the page space. Uh, redo log is a fragment uh, according to its page, uh, and uh, each cell has three copies. So, uh, 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 after introducing the architecture of cloud native database, everyone has a preliminary uh, impression of it. The following will uh, further introduce some uh, break uh, breakthrough technology of uh, uh, cloud uh, native database. So the first the key feature of the cloud native database is serverless. So what is serverless? Serverless is a mode for user to use the database, I think. A uh, user can use the uh, data pay as their need. Uh, they adjust, uh, adjust the computing and the storage resources of a database dynamically in seconds. Uh, before the serverless, I think the user uh, predict uh, their need like the green line and uh, uh, buy their resources uh, in database like the red line. And the actually demands is like the green line here. Uh, and the serverless can scale like the uh, blue line here. Uh, just to meet the need of actual demand. Uh, the real user uh, scenarios uh, in real user scenarios there are a lot of uh, scenarios where useless is used for example when developers test their uh, service uh, the amount of data will grow in a short time but the data will uh, but database will be idle uh, for a long time. They can adjust their database resources uh, dynamically uh, to receive uh, to save money. And in some um, service like i two o games or e commercial uh, they will explore the, uh, in a short time uh, the data will explore the, in a sh short time. They need to add database resources to support their service frequently uh, the compute the compute node of database is stateless and uh, they can start and stop fast without uh, uh, without process uh, like redo log recovery the storage is um, uh, is is um, uh, perceived expansion and uh, construction expansion on demand uh, automatic uh, construction uh, the compute node can start and stop extremely fast to adjust the uh, computer resource uh, dynamically. Uh, shared memory is used uh, for buffer pool, which shorten, uh, which shorten the time for instance startup and recovery. 
uh, and there is no obvious degradation in performance after the startup. Okay, uh, compute layer offloads the redo log recovery because the redo log is applied uh, by storage layer. The storage layer has different storage cells. Each cell can uh, replay uh, independent, and uh, and the different cells can uh, replay redo log uh, parallelly. We also do a lot of work about startup and uh, opt uh, in startup uh, optimization. For example, buffer pool instance initialize in parallel, rollback uh, segment initialize in parallel. Uh, as for the shut up, uh, shutdown uh, with dirty page uh, flushed offload, as long as the read log persists, uh, the server will complete the shutdown. And the storage can quickly expand, uh, expand and shrink uh, uh, automatically. Uh, for the computing layer, uh, the storage uh, uh, layer is just like uh, uh, can be just ab uh, abstracted into a storage pool, and the storage pool can uh, dynamically add or delete storage units. Uh, the size of storage units is one p uh, MB. Uh, storage units are, are scattered on different uh, server. Uh, so if uh, more space is needed, just add more storage units to the storage pool. For the shrink, uh, uh, the space uh, in free extent of each segment uh, can be uh, can be allocated. Once uh, uh, one free extent is big enough, the storage uh, unit uh, cor uh, corresponding to the free unit uh, in computing layer will be recycled in background. Uh, this provides the true pay-as-you-need ability. Uh, in current uh, storage system, with the capacity growing uh, and the I/O delay uh, growing, that uh, that principle also applies uh, to the cloud native database architecture, where uh, computing uh, computing and storage are separated. Com um, compute node must uh, raise the data from the remote uh, cloud uh, storage through the network, uh, which significantly increase uh, I/O delay. For most uh, cloud native database, buffer pool can only uh, cache a small part of data. Most, pa uh, most pages must be read from the <coughs> remote uh, pa uh, page remote I/O because the uh, uh, bottleneck of the uh, database performance. Secondary cache is created uh, to solve this problem. Buffer pool can evict some pages to the disk of a uh, computer node and will read it uh, later. Uh, the data in secondary cache is stored on uh, non-volatile storage uh, placed on compute node. Each buffer pool instance has its own secondary cache space, including memory structure and the storage file. Uh, for memory structure, only a hash table and a free list is used to uh, manage the secondary cache. Hash table is to map the uh, page ID from the buffer pool to secondary cache. A uh, free list is used to find out free space in secondary cache. Uh, the memory structure of uh, uh, secondary cache is light. Uh, the memory only used one in 256 amount of data size to manage the whole data in the secondary cache. Uh, for example, only uh, 3 MB space in memory can manage uh, 1 GB data in secondary cache. Uh, the storage structure is independent and non-segment. Uh, double write is skipped uh, and bypass the file system. Uh, PMDK and SPDK is used to write data to a non-volatile uh, storage like Optin SSD, uh, BPS, or AP. As for result, under the configuration of Firefly Pool and uh, Secondary Cache 1 to 5, the performance uh, improved 100% uh, uh, in read workload. Uh, in addition to performance, the data security is very important. It's also very important. 
uh, an important way to ensure the data security is data backup and archiving. Uh, for cloud uh, native database, uh, the storage layer can independent com mm, uh, complete data backup and archiving without the help from the uh, computing layer. Uh, even for the computing layer, backup is non uh, per uh, percept perception. Uh, each storage cell has a closure of data and a, a log. They can snapshot by their own. Uh, one uh, log-based global snapshot process can take a global snapshot without communication uh, between each storage cell. Of archiving each storage cell found full uh, uh, incremental uh, backup data uh, in parallel and uh, apply and uh, uh, replay the, uh, the logs to the data in parallel. Uh, as a result, only a few seconds is needed is, uh, to back up data and uh, archiving is uh, uh, to back up data and uh, uh, when archiving is needed, uh, the archiving uh, uh, speed will keep a GB level. Okay, uh, so far the cloud native database has done a lot of work in the term of storage uh, elasticity. Elastic, elasticity, and uh, computing and uh, elastic expansion and data security will our future exploration direction. Cloud native database architecture uh, solves the storage expansion problem. Uh, the storage of database become very elastic. Uh, we can add the replica uh, node. Uh, which means uh, just add uh, the computer resources to improve the read performance. However, we cannot improve our writing ability by increasing uh, just re uh, increasing computing resources. The expansion of writing computing uh, is inflexible, I think. In our future uh, exploration, uh, the exploration of writing computing is our main direction. To solve this problem, uh, log storage in, is introduced. Uh, in the future, a log will be exchanged through the log server instead of directly transferring uh, logs between the master and the slaves. Uh, at the same time, the data is divided in different uh, uh, data sets. Uh, each data set has only one master node uh, which can write the data uh, to that data set, and the write elastic ex expand uh, by adjusting the uh, distribution of the data set. Uh, in this architecture, different writing nodes in computing layer shares one global uh, consistent uh, read view. And with the uh, log server introduced, the data can be uh, uh, synchronously transferred to different regions, which may be located in, in other city or maybe other country. Uh, user can read the data from local region, uh, which will improve uh, reading performance and uh, availability. Uh, data transferred uh, by main region will be saved independently. If uh, uh, in resistant uh, a disaster occurred in main region, uh, such as earthquake or war, uh, the data uh, sh uh, could still be available for the user in standby region. Uh, this provided a very high level of data security. Okay, thank you.